What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we are actually, this is the final, I, we got the 1.0 man. We got the 1.0 preview. So the last time we played this game, The Survivalists, it was in a demo phase. Like it was just a freely available open Steam demo that was limited in the amount of stuff that you can accomplish. Today, we're playing the full version of the game. So let's hang out for a little bit. Let's have a good time. If you don't know, this is from the developer of The Escapists. It's their newest title. And it's right up my alley because it takes place in Survival World, which is my favorite world, as it as it turns out. So anyways, we've got bottles and things laying around here. We probably need to feed ourselves. We probably need to make sure that we don't die. We have two little meters over here. One of them is apparently for energy. One of them is for HP. We also have a bottle right here. The volcanic regions will burn you. You will need some clean water in order to stay cool there. Sounds good, but I'm cool. I'm cool everywhere I go. Um, this time around, I'm just a bald guy. Just a bald guy on an island. And you know what? That's I can I can empathize with that. I'm about it. There's another bottle over here. What does that say? Shipwreck. New to island life? Need some help surviving? Visit the mysterious shop. We sell all kinds of items that will make your stay here more comfortable. You'll be able to find us somewhere on the other's very helpful directions. Thank you for that, map quest. Appreciate it. My references, oh no, dude. I'm officially old. Kids, they won't know, like, that's, unfortunately, there's a there's a significant population of people watching my videos that don't know what MapQuest is anymore. Uh, Great Directions, Google Maps, there we go. There we go. I just, I gotta get the references straightened on out. So, apparently, I have a monkey pal. Uh, we've got our building over here, so we can do some kind of comfy padding right here that we can place on the ground. What are these, like, blueprints? Hold on a second, we got a blueprint right there. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's placing it right there. Okay, so we'll erase that one right there. Close that off, and apparently we've got, like, bits and pieces here. Uh, we've got to find ourselves, like, a chunk of grassy stuff. What can I craft right now? I can make a... Okay, I can make, like, a little slicey knife right here. A little slicey boy. Alright. Let me get my slicey boy. Yeah, Oh, I like that animation right there. It looks good. This basically reminds me of, like, the escapists ha has run face first, like, with their art and design profile has run face first into like don't starve like they seem like very similar games all right so we got coconuts over here i'll take that and uh, we've got ourselves some leaves that are laying around that we can take part in can i get rid of that stump right there i feel like stumps and things are kind of like in my way right now let me pick up all of that i definitely don't want you go away is it a fruit or a nut it will replenish a small amount of your hunger all right i appreciate that oh we can get two trees at once with the power of our cleavage Nice. All right. So now that we've learned to clove in good ways, let me just pick up all this stuff right here. I do wish there was kind of like an auto pickup mode. In fact, let's take a look at the options real fast because I've learned that you guys care about stuff like that. Uh, looking through the options right now, we've got all of the standards, everything from V-Sync to the regional names. Uh, you can constrain your cursor right now to the screen just in case you wanted to. That's a really appreciated feature right there. I've run into some games that like they won't have that and it's super annoying having your cursor go off screen with like first person shooters and whatnot. Impact flashes, counter attack time appears to be down there. Background animations, but I don't see anything about auto picking up items I would hope that maybe they'll think about adding something like that further on down the line So that they just go zoop, doop, 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 and get sucked into your character after you take care of your business It's not like one of those things that I have to have in order to play But it is one of those quality of life things that I would like to see maybe we'll beat up some rocks over here Do I need some more rocks? Eh, I'll take a couple who knows maybe we'll need a whole bunch of them Yeah, break you on down right there Energy's coming on back, looking pretty. Did we just beat berries out of that rock? I thought I got a berry. I guess it said pebbles or something, and my brain just filled in the word berries because my mind is just kind of busted like that. All right, so what we really need right now is we need to make... We've already got the padding thing, so I don't think we need to do anything else. We do need to make a leafy padding, though. That appears to be hidden right here. So there's our comfy padding. It looks like we're going to need some straw in order to make that happen. And in order to get the straw, we're going to need access to... Well, let's get the hammer first. That's a tool, and so I'm down for getting tools. That'll take us to a club, which I think is a really good idea, just in case we need to protect ourselves. My club is always on my four key when I play a game like this. We have axe, pickaxe, hammer, club. That's how I always arrange my orders. Uh, we can go over here, and let me get a little bit more food real fast. Yep, okay, sounds good. Uh, I don't think we're that hungry at the moment, so I don't think we have to worry about it. We need to find some grasses. I don't know if taking out grasses, let me make a new knife real fast. Boom, new knife. That appears to be the stuff that we're looking for right there. 
the long grass. All right, so long grass has been taken out. A little bit of that sitting around. That'll allow us to make maybe some ropes, some stuff in order to start off our area of sleeping. I don't actually know if I want to be down here, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go through and we'll just get rid of that blueprint real fast, so it's not sitting around being all ancillary, just like laying around the corners, our periphery, as it were. Uh, we've got rabbits over here. It looks like there's a cage with a monkey inside of it. We could get the monkey to help us out. As I recall, in this game, you could travel around with a squad of monkeys, and you give them weapons, and there's no way that that can backfire on you at all. Not even one, not even slightly will that backfire on you. Uh, we'll wait on the monkey for just a minute. Looks like we got some treasure and things up here. I wonder if we can fish, dude. I'm really hoping that we can fish. Like, I want to go fishing really, really badly. I love fishing in video games. It's been an addiction of mine ever since Ocarina of Time. The laws of physics can be broken with teleporters. Build two to fracture reality and move in between them. It'll require gemstones to build and some glowing rock to power them. The game's definitely leading on, like, the demo that they gave out didn't have any of these bottles or anything. What's up, monkey homie? I can give him an item. You want to come with me? Can I give, like, monkey orders? So click on a monkey to give them an order. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I can teach him. Yeah, just, just follow me, bro. Just follow me. Uh, I'm just going to have, like, a little companion for right now. This seems like a pretty sweet place for us to make our first little base. I think this sounds all right. We've got like access to the ocean right there. We've got our backs up against stone. That's all good. So I, I think this is where I'm gonna build. Let's dive on in here. I've got my comfy padding right there. We'll put one of those down on the ground. I need to make some hay. And then after I've made the hay, I need to make the comfy padding. Comfy padding we can bring over to here and we can add it. And so I guess we've got to put our multi-tool in right there. Yeah, there we go, chisel that thing together. Okay, very nice. Uh, we're going to need a blanket before we can sleep on the damn thing. I don't know if we have that around. Ah, there's the blanket. Okay, so let's take the blanket, and then we will throw the blanket. Yeah, add it on over there. That's all that we needed. We're good to go now. Uh, it looks like our hunger is going down, like, a little bit. So maybe, like, I'll consider eating some berries. It's kind of a bummer that there's no eat animation. Even if it didn't show the specific item that you're eating, like, having his hand go up from his hip to his face every time you eat with a bit of a cooldown would be a little bit more, like, immersive. As of right now, it sounds like it's making, like, a glunk noise whenever I do it, but there, there's no, like, physical manifestation of the fact that I've undertook the action. Uh, let's go over here, and we will check out these bottles. The Orklings love to steal what they can. They will raid your settlements and smash your things before too long. Make defenses. Does an army of heavily armed monkeys count as defenses? I think it must, right? Oh, cool, we got a treasure map. How does that work? So I've got my journal over here. Oh, I can change around the way that I look from right here anytime that I want. That's pretty cool. Dude, I've got to have the bandana. I have to. Yeah, there's my guy right there. I mean, we've already... His name is not Clive, though. His name will be... His name will be Splatty. There we go. Perfect. Apparently, there's keys that we need in order to escape. Inside of here, we've got our... The Legend of Talking Totems. There be a valuable torch. It be found at the Talking Totems in the Sun Sanctuary Remnants. Okay. All right. Good to know. Dude, I look so much better right now. Like, I look so much more prepared for this adventure that I'm currently undertaking. There's nothing on the dead guy. Nothing on that dead guy. Anything further on, on these dead guys? A, a metal sheet and a Viking horn. A decorative antique Viking horn. Skull can be sold. Yeah, I'll take it all, man. I need to build a chest over here, though. Like, we need some storage materials. Like, I'm going to actually build this up to be a good little base on this side. I don't know if maybe we'll get some ropes right there. Do I need ropes to make hinges or something? So that gave us a makeshift bowl. And then we've got a tool handle right there. I wonder if maybe... Hey, there it is. We can make a hay bale wall. We've got a lightweight bed, a campfire. Yeah, let's start out with that. We'll put the campfire like right over here. Ideally, what you would want to do in a survival situation is you would actively want this campfire. You would want it to be like right here and you would want to be on this side of it. So the campfire here, you on the right of it because fire, the heat will bounce off the stone wall. On top of that, the wall will also heat a bit and it'll start giving off heat. Tends to be how you want to do that right there if you can manage it. But, you know, a little survival tips with Splatty. It's not going to matter for the case of gameplay. We'll just put our campfire, like, right there. I'll get rid of that one. And then right here, we'll add the stuff to it. And give me my multi-tool. 
mm, that wasn't what I wanted to happen, but it happened anyway, so, you know, my heart is only slightly broken by the fact that that didn't work. Campfire should be up. There we go. We can add wood to it. That'll keep us all nice and lit up. We can pick a recipe over here. We've got kebabs. We've got fruit smoothies right here. A medium amount of health and hunger. Okay. Let's consider, like, some storage mediums first, though. So there's a chest over here. I, I think that's a really good idea. Uh, so I'm going to get a storage chest, like, right there and right there. We'll just start out with two of them. For the storage chest, we're going to need some more ropies, which I don't have. However, we can add the other stuff for right now. Yeah, build as much as you want. I don't know if we have to sleep. I don't know if sleeping is one of those things that's like a requisite need that we have inside the confines of the game. Uh, we got the chest right there. It looks like we can actually carry the chest along with us too, which is kind of a kind of an interesting thing. It looks like it auto crafts like so. I didn't have the ropes on me. It looks like it auto crafts from whatever you have on hand in order to complete an item that's already on the ground. I really like that. That's a really fantastic quality of life thing. Uh, the other quality of life thing I'd be looking for here is like if I'm inside of my base, I should be able to craft with anything that's inside my chests. Uh, that's a that's a super important feature to me that I look for in a lot of games uh, because it makes your life easier. If we don't have that, it'll be kind of a bummer. Like, I can live with it, but it'll still be kind of a bummer. I'm going to throw the ropies in there. Let's take a look here and see if we can build anything. We've got a table. It'll allow us to display an item. We've got a medium chest right there. A crafting bench. And it does. It pulls things from our chests, maybe. Possibly. Hmm. I'm going to put that right there, but I'm going to have to kill some of these buildings real fast. Give my knife and not buildings. I'm sorry. I got to kill some of these bushes and trees and whatnot just to give myself a little bit more of a habitable space. Yep, just knock that down. I could tell the monkey to, to do it, but I haven't done it yet. There's Dane the Hiccup. I haven't talked about Dane the Hiccup in a very, very long time. I have a hiccup. It comes up randomly when I'm playing video games on the internet while I'm like recording these videos comes up just completely and totally randomly. You never know when it's going to happen, but it's always while I'm doing monologues. And I've named it Dane because it shows up so frequently. Oh, it's a bummer. So it doesn't pull from your chests. Okay. Well, hopefully, I, I hope they'll consider adding that. That's a that's a really, really nice thing that, like, games that have it make me super happy. Uh, what is that? What is what is that right there? Is that just... That's not pebbles. That's something else. What is that right there? Hold on. So, a stone chunk. Do I craft the stone chunk? I do indeed, so there it is. All right, we'll grab the stones out of here. And then we'll make the stone chunk. Stone chunk's ready to rock. We'll throw, oh, I needed two of them. I need a dose. All right, so we'll take the dose of them. We got that right there. And it looks like the craft is gonna take a little bit, but we are making progress right now, which I'm hyped about. There we go. I'm gonna name this crafting bench Wilbert, because why not? I don't have anything else going on. I'll eat that right there, and let's take a look at the recipes we have available. So we do have a bone club that we can craft for ourselves, so long as we have bones available. I'm sort of wondering if I go out and I break those skeletons over there, if that'll grab that for me. Uh, we'll make the tool handle real fast. There we go, because I don't know what that's going to unlock. That's pretty much all that I was interested in right there, is I wanted to see what the tool handle would unlock. Gives us access to the torch, which isn't too bad, but we need charcoal in order to properly utilize that. We've got an empty container. It can be filled with water right there. We've actually, I think, hit all of the, all of the basic materials here. Now we can only do advanced stuff. So in order to do the axe, we need the tool handle right there. I definitely recommend doing that. I think that's a really, really good idea. So make a ropey real fast. And we will add the ropey to it. We've already got our we've already got our hammer out and ready to go. This axe is going to allow me to clear out this area. I'm going to try to build walls. I'm hoping we get a shovel or something that will remove stumps too because we've got stumps in the way. And I'd love to get this palisaded off. So there you go. We got our axe now. Looking good. Uh, that did use up our only stone implement. So I'll throw that in right there. Let's cancel that. And what did that unlock for me? That got me a pickaxe right there, which I'm pretty stoked about. And it also got us access to a shovel. I think the shovel's going to be more important for the moment. Uh, so let's throw those in there. I don't have any wood left, so let's take this bad boy for a spin. Oh, cool, a new animation. Very nice. Definitely more effective than our knife, for sure. By, like, a big leap and a bound. And maybe even a stride. And we'll throw that in right there. Grab all of those goodies. I don't know if this works as a machete to get rid of bushes. It does. Good stuff, man. Very, very good stuff. 
Let's knock all this out of the way. I want just like a big jungle clearing that I live inside of. All right, I haven't utilized the monkey at all so far, just because I, I do feel like giving edged weapons to primates is a bad idea. It's just like, that's the beginning step to end up with a Planet of the Apes situation, and I'm trying to avoid that. All right, so there's our multi-tool. We'll make another tool handle right there. Pick that up. We'll cancel this guy, and then we'll dive back on in here. Give me the shovel, please. And I need another one of you, and I need two of you. Perfect. Throw them on in there. And then there's our shovel. Hopefully that'll get rid of these stumps. I don't know if you've ever been stumping before, but stumping is miserable. Where I come from, you go out stumping when you're looking for a big piece of wood that's got some nice burl to it that you can craft with. And my dad's a carpenter. And so anyways... It does look like it takes this out, but if you ain't never been stumping before, it's pretty much like a long day spent smacking roots with a pickaxe and just kind of like hoping that you can get the whole thing done. It does look like this clears it out, so let me clear out all these trees and then we'll come back. Alright, so I managed to stump out this area. We're looking pretty good right now. I'm, I'm happy with where things are at. What kind of recipes are we looking at? So we've got a makeshift rug over here. It requires fur, clumps, and ropes, so I think we're going to have to go hunting for that. But we can make the rod right now, which I think is a really, really good idea. I would like it if after you've crafted these for the first time, it'd be cool if they were added to your quick craft menu. Uh, that's one thing that I would like to see. I can't pick up the rod right now because I'm holding too much stuff. Now let me open this bad boy up and we'll see if we can just kind of like drop some of these goodies in here. I'm going to need the wood, the grass, and the other stuff. That's going to be kind of unavoidable. But there's our stick right there, so we got that. What did that unlock for me? Now that's given us access to a spear, but we need metal in order to get that. It's given us access to wooden slats and a bow. We're going to need a little bit more mud before we can make a bow, but that would be pretty cool. Like, I'd be on board for it. Yeah, I definitely hope they add auto-crafting right now. Uh, to the game. That way, like, if you've got things that require lots of advanced stuff and you already have, like, all of the constituent parts inside of your inventory, it'll just put it all together for you and then also put it onto the craft. Like, that would be super, super sweet. Let's get the plank unlocked right here because I think that's probably going to lead us to palisade walls of some kind that we can sort of make, like, our little survival area that we hang out inside of. There's our plank right there, so we're looking good. Mm, how'd that do for me? Let me, let me, let me drop that off there. What's that, an animal trap? Oh, interesting. So with two slats, yeah, that might not be a bad idea. I do get mileage out of my traps and don't starve. Let's make the makeshift bowl, though, too. I don't know if I have the leaves on me. Do I have leaves? I do not have leaves. All right, we'll throw that in there. We'll throw that in there. There's a rabbit right there, but I'm not convinced that I can catch his ass. He might be speedier than me. So there's our bowl. It's just an empty container, huh? All right. Well, what does that unlock? So that's given us a decorative wall hanging. All right, that wasn't what I was expecting. I was thinking some kind of water purifier maybe, but fair enough. Uh, we've got the animal trap, so I think we should make another one of these right here. Let me bang out the ropes for it. And as soon as this is done, I don't know what the third part was that we were going to need in order to make the animal trap, but we'll kind of set that up over there where the rabbits seem to be running around. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity for us to get kind of like advanced foods and like better stuff than we have right now. We need two ropes for that. All right, I can do that. Give me a little rope arena right here. I'm going to need to throw some of this inside of there. We definitely have a really, really limited inventory, so I'm hoping the inventory gets a little bit larger at some point. I can already feel myself being like, eh, this inventory is kind of small for all the items that they're throwing, all the constituent parts and everything else we're being expected to carry around. I'm bored. I should get my monkeys to craft this. I mean, you can if you want, but like, I don't, I don't trust a monkey to do a good job when it comes to making an animal trap. I only trust the labor of my own hands. All right, so we've got our animal trap. Let's go see what we can do with this bad hombre. This badass compañero. All right, so we'll put him over here. Perfect. Slot him on down, dude. I'm trying to work on my Spanish, like, hard right now, dude. Like, where I live at, like, everybody speaks Spanish, and so I'm trying to get my trying to get my Spanish on. I'm reobtaining. It's going slowly. Like, as long as we're in, like, the present tense, I think I'm good. It's when you start to throw me, like, into the past tense and, like, the future tense. I'm working on it, though. I, I would say that my knowledge of the Espanol has gone up pretty good in the last couple months. I've been trying to spend, like, 20, 30 minutes a day working on it. 
It looks like I can't break the skeletons down here for bones, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, looks like we can't break the skeletons. So for these poor bastards, they won't even be able to supply us with any resources. Let's go ahead and let's cut up to the north and see if we can find anything good out here. I do have a sprint available to me. Can I just pick this back up? Yeah, let's pick that back. Oh, it already caught something. Oh my god in heaven. Oh, I totally didn't expect that. Oh, dude, I'm like starving right now. Here, I'm just going to eat like 900 tons of berries because it's easy and it's accessible. Throw my furs in there. Let me throw some of those goodies inside of there. What if we come across the trader? Maybe I'll bring my horn with me. Let's go adventure. We've spent enough time kind of sitting around looking for other stuff and like building up our base. Let's go have a look around. Some pretty thick bush back here. Like this is pretty, this is pretty gnarly terrain. You don't want to traverse through this. Like I've done a couple of surveys when I was doing geology that were in like mountainous areas, like backwoods, redwoods, like evergreen kind of alpine type areas and man, like covering a ground, covering like a mile of ground up and down where there's nothing but tree and there ain't nothing but thicket and there ain't nothing but brush is just the worst, man. It is mind bogglingly difficult and you don't really know until you've done it the first time. Now, what's going on over here? Like, what is this? Oh, I can break it? What am I breaking though? Maybe it was just stuff in the background. Oh no, we busted that up right there. It gave us some free rope. I mean, I'm probably starting a war right now with whoever owns this. It's probably bad luck or something to do this, but I'm doing it anyways. I can't break up the punjies over there. So that's a bum. Oh, what do we have going on over here? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What you got for me? Nothing. What about these crates? Can I bust these up? A wooden club, some timber, a slat. Uh, it looks like there's another monkey over there and he wants some kind of fruit salad or something. There's a diary entry. And then there's a decorative boar banner. Dude, we gotta figure out an ape banner too. A decorative photograph that's faded that can be sold. Another one too right there. Okay, let's don't break this stuff. I'm gonna go back to base and I'm gonna unburden myself real fast. I think we need to replace our trap too. I think it only actively catches stuff if it's in an area where there's like rabbits. So like it's been up top up there for like most of the night. I was storing up my stuff and kind of just fiddling around with things and it hasn't caught anything. So I think it actually needs physical rabbits in order to catch anything. It's not like a, it's not just like a resource generator that sits there and you know, conjures meat out of thin air for no input. Like, you've actually got to have rabbits run into it, so that's fine. And we've got... This must be the Sun Sanctuary over here, slightly south, maybe. Is there anything you can do with any of this? I mean, let me, let me, let me loot what we've got up top first. Because over here by this water, we had that truck, and I really don't want to leave any of this behind. So we'll grab that photograph right there. It's a vendor item, so we'll get ourselves some cash. And we've got another one right there, an axe, which will replace the one that we're using. An ape banner that we can possibly use to decorate our house once we get it going, which sounds really, really cool. In fact, I do enjoy decorating a little bit. I've, I've got a bit of a decorator inside of me, I'm not going to lie. There, there's a bit of a, a decorative strain inside of your boy Splatty. Uh, it's one of those things that, like, I try to hide it, man, but I enjoy, I enjoy decorating a good locality. All right, I think we caught something down here. I just think I think I just heard like a squeak. Yup, we caught something. There we go. Getting there with our furs and whatnot. All right. I've been sitting over here just doing some crafting or whatever. Oh, they respawn too. Well, then I picked. I think we picked like a really really good spot. Like I think we're we're in solid shape right now. Uh, what other things can we craft? Because we picked up a whole bunch of things, and I'm trying to work my way through this crafting tree. Uh, we can make a decorative fur rug, which will take us down here. I do think taking the bow is probably a really good idea. It requires a stick and some mud. Okay, what was the other thing that it needed? Ropies? Alright, I can do ropies. Hold on, let me get some ropies in here. Like being able to attack from a range, or even better, just give it to the monkey so that he attacks from range while I'm tanking? Dude. Who wouldn't, uh, who wouldn't enjoy... I want to, it keeps prompting me like that, so I'm assuming maybe the monkeys can do it faster. I don't know, maybe I'll give the monkey a hammer and I'll just like command him to go do stuff. I was going to give him this beat stick club over here because I got an extra one, and I was just going to have him roll with me and be like my little monkey thug, you know what I mean? Just, you know. Alright. 
Got our bow right there. That unlocks arrows, right? Yeah, there's the bundle of arrows right there. So we've got fletching, we've got twigs, and we've got some other stuff. I don't know how many we get. Uh, probably a number of them. Looks like ten, maybe. Or no, ten is the time it takes in order to make it. I don't know how many arrows you get. Maybe you get infinite. Who knows? Maybe it's got durability just like the bow does. I don't know. I'm not the one to ask about things like this. Uh, monkey, would you... There you go. I'm going to throw you a club. Apparently, I accidentally threw my axe. I was wondering where that went. I didn't bring it up, but I was kind of curious about where that went. Uh, the monkey's got a club now, so he can throw down and help us fight. I'm going to grab another club out of our equipment chest over here so that I've got one. Let's head, like, northwards, and we'll kind of see just what's along the coast. I mean, keeping a, keeping a reference point is a really, really good idea. And honestly, surviving along a coastline is much, much easier than surviving inland. Trust me. Like, surviving along a coastline is good, especially if we can find, like, some fresh water that's flowing out to this. Also, like, oof, that'd be, like, the two come-ups right there. Looking for mud or sand, use a shovel in the grasslands or on the beach. Okay, good to know. Does he need, like, a, like a blankie? Is that what he needs? I don't know, he said he was bored. I, I have no idea what that all entails, but he said he was bored. Let me get a rope real fast. And then maybe I'll use this axe right here just to, like, chop this down a little bit. I hate seagulls. Everyone hates seagulls. Yeah, I think he just wants me to give him, like, free stuff, maybe. I don't know for certain, but it sort of seems like he's angling for free stuff. I'll eat some berries. I'll throw the bow on the ground real quick just so I have a little bit more space. Need to make a rope. And I needed to get two leaves. All right, let me get these leaves over here. I want to see what happens when I gift this to the totem. Ooh. Apparently, it's like a like a challenge chest or something, maybe? Oh! I like money. Oh, a sword! Nice, man. I guess I don't need the club anymore. We've actually got ourselves like a... We've got ourselves a real pirate's weapon. Yar. We be having a real pirate's weapon. Cool. Excited about that. Apparently, these are like little mini quests. You just make them some stuff, and then they're like, cool, man. And then they reward you with, with crates full of awesome items. Keep the sword for myself. I was going to give it to the monkey. But, like, the big problem I'm running into right now is just inventory space. Yeah, it looks like I, hopefully we can find like a backpack or something. Or maybe there's some kind of item like Zelda style we're going to find out here that'll make our inventory a little bit larger or have like two rows. That's what I'm hoping because I, I'm making a lot of trips back and forth just to drop things off. It could be argued that maybe while I'm out adventuring, I don't need a hammer. Maybe while I'm out adventuring, I probably don't need a shovel. Like we just need the sword or whatever. I don't have arrows yet, so why carry that along with me? I mean, maybe maybe I'm just carrying too much stuff. Maybe, maybe that's where I'm running into issues. But my inventory has definitely been a problem thus far. I keep finding myself being like, why am I out of... Why am I always out of inventory spice? Hold up. I was walking like I was exploring in between my next cut, and a magical treasure chest just, like, fell off the ground. Like, I don't know, dude. I was running up here, and it just, like, unearthed itself. Let's see what's inside. There's some money. Money's good. I like money. Another metal sword, just in case you were wondering about that. Whole bunch of long grass. So I didn't really want you to be... Hey, monkey, stop. Monkey, stop what you're doing right now. Stop what you're doing and follow me. You're... I don't know, dude. He just started gathering grass like a whirlwind. I don't know. I must have clicked on the grass on accident when I went to swing at the chest. And he was just like, Yes, I enjoy destroying grass. Monkey, help! And so anyways... I can't, I don't know if I can rename my monkey. As of right now, my monkey's name is Samir. I, I kind of wanted to rename him. Ooh, can I, can I have that? Ooh, I can, bones, nice. I don't have any use for those right now, but they were useful for making bone clubs. Oh, there's dead people over here. That's always a good sign. Why are there like a ass ton of dead people over here? I'm going to pick up the bones because who knows when we're going to come across another supply of them. That one's breakable, too. 
All right. Well, I mean, we've got a nice stock of bones for later. Uh, nothing on the dead guys, though. Oh, hello, air balloon. What's going on over here? Oh, a vendor. Nice, dude. I remember this guy from the demo. Yeah, we found the mysterious stranger. I don't know if he moves around or whatever. Uh, looks like we've got... How much money do I have? So he's selling rope right now. We've got a spyglass. He doesn't have any keys. He doesn't have any treasure maps. So it looks like he wants nothing is more binding than rope. I can't do business with strangers. Bring me three ropes and we'll become best friends. All right, let me get him his ropes because the monkey busted up a whole bunch of grass over here. So we should be able to use the grass that the monkey busted up in order to make some ropeies. I don't know what's in my way over here. I'm just going to swing freely. All right, it was berry bush apparently. There we go. Rope. Perfect. All right, so all the rope has been made. Back to our goblin friend. Dude, I can rename my my monkey. Uh, this guy's name is Skidoo. Uh, we'll call him Map. Oh no, it doesn't fit. All right, his name is Skidoo. It doesn't matter. What other stuff is going on? All right. Do I just like? Oh, I click on him. Okay, so I fulfilled the task, and now we are apparently friends. Good to know. How much monies do I have? I have 300 bucks, so I guess that's my money. I wasn't sure if it was his money or mine. We need 5,000 for, like, these weird dungeon keys over here. Uh, honestly, it's easier to buy a spear than it is to craft one. We can get a mysterious chest. Is that the only one that he has? All right. Oh. Oh. Is it like a chest for my base? I think it must be. Huh. I don't know how it's any different than any other chest, but hey, I'm going to take it back to my base. Uh, it holds a, a ton. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, that's not good. Okay, drop that, drop that, drop that. Let's see what's up with this thing. Is it trying to fight me right now? Is that what's going on here? All right, monkey. Uh, I need you to go into learning mode because you and I, friend, are learning to do battle now. There you go. Fight him, monkey. Fight him. Dude, I don't think he's getting hurt right now. Oh, you got to hit him from behind. Oh, you got to hit it from the back. Okay. Understood. Understood. I mean, that is the best way to hit it. Understood. Like, fair enough. All right, so we'll go back in over here. I'm going to grab this, and that's going to be our time for the day. My name is Splattercat. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you come by Twitch. I'll be playing this a lot over the next couple of days, and I'd love to have you. Uh, Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming. Aside from that, get the game down below if it seems like something you might enjoy. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Check out the socials, my Twitter, my Discord, my Twitch stream. They're all down below, and I'll see you all later. Thank you for being here.